three reasons Israel's bombing Gaza. Again. Number one. Apartheid Israel's in political turmoil. Chaos has erupted with the new government making judicial changes that the general public sees as undermining democracy. Yes, a Zionist apartheid state is undermining its own Jewish supremacy-based democracy. Can't make this up if I tried. So of course, a great way to fearmonger people into submission is another war on Gaza. Number two, for the current murderous government of Benjamin Netanyahu, to stay in power, they need the support of another murderous criminal. It's Mar Ben Vir. I think the G is silent. Similar to the international community. Anyways, Buddy here sees that the current government is soft on terrorism. So, time to kill more Palestinian civilians and their families. He seems nice. Number three. The occupation says they killed top resistance leaders. Along with their wives and children, of course. Because <laughs> collateral damage. Uh, human shield? Uh, what was the other excuse? Anyways, this sends a message that the current government is not soft on terrorism. They're strong and up to the task. But where does this leave Palestinians, who are just pawns in these political games at this point? Their blood is cheapened for votes. And for resistance groups, if they fight back, they're giving Israel what they want, and Israel continues to fearmonger. If they don't fight back, they get annihilated, and Israel still gets what it wants and gets to occupy all the land illegally with no resistance. Share this video with everyone you know. We need to raise awareness. Remember, without political pressure, this occupation will continue.